Hey guys, here's some uh, facts about dipoles. So it's important to know that um, dipoles n never have a net zero uh, electric field. So if you have your positive guy and your negative one, and you try to find an electric field, at no point anywhere in space will the electric field be zero. Because um, just because uh, by thought of like um, thinking that they cancel out each other out because they're positive and negative. When um, if you know this positive is closer, then the positive will have a stronger effect. So it's just important to know that you'll uh, always have some electric field; it'll never be zero. Important. Other important thing to know is that um, the two particles of a dipole will always have the same uh, the same charge in equal and opposite. So if this one has one coulomb of charge or negative one coulomb of net charge. And this will have positive one coulomb of uh, charge. This has a million. This will have a million. Uh, except for they're always uh, equal but opposite. It's a good way of remembering it. The other thing is um, is that the since the formula for dipoles is over r cubed, that the electric field is proportional to this, and it's just important an important thing to keep in mind. And um, the last thing is that the electric field at any points uh, do these dipoles is the vector sum of the electric field of both of these uh, components. So basically if it's right here, then again you're positively pushing away, negatively pushing towards. So you'll have a net field of like this. If it's right, let's say right here, again positively pushing away and negatively pushing towards it, and it'll be a little smaller because it'll um because it's kind of farther. So your net field will be inlet will kind of be like this. And uh it's kind of complicated like that. But um that's essentially just some facts to keep in mind about dipoles. I'll see you next lesson.